Well, good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to another video on the high desert. It's gonna be a good one today. Oh my goodness. It's a beautiful day. Got a little bit of cloud cover, not too hot. Man, no wind, which is nice. This was actually not the lake I wanted to fish today. There's another lake a few miles away that I was planning on fishing. But when I got there, there were some trucks parked there and I just had to bag that idea, so that kind of sucked. Not that they don't have just as much right to fish there as I do, but I mean, I make videos and I scream a lot and I talk to myself and it's just a little uncomfortable when there's people fishing right by you. So uh, we're at this lake, not a soul in sight. Let's do some fishing. We're actually gonna head to a spot that you guys have seen me fish in past videos. If you guys watch my channel, pretty special spot. Oh my goodness. Well, uh, that's kind of freaking me out right there. We go from all happy to finding a dead baby bunny. Is that a rabbit, folks? It's a dead baby rabbit in this fire pit. Okay, well that's uh, kind of freaky. But on a lighter note, you guys have probably seen me fish this uh, little log jam that I'm heading to. It's got lots of big fat brook trout stacked up in it. And since it's about noon right now and I'm getting really hungry, we're hopefully gonna be making some fish tacos. If you guys are new to the channel, I fished this little log jam in a couple of videos and absolutely crushed them. Like I would just toss a little jig in between all those logs and just catch one brook trout after the other. It's insane. That was, a, that was about a month or so ago. So maybe there's not as many fish in here. Maybe they've kind of moved out. We're just gonna give it a few casts and see what happens. We have here some Mount Nebo Fishing Tackle Company white marabou jigs. It's actually a local company, so if anyone from Mount Nebo Tackle is watching, hit me up. All right, there are fish in here confirmed. I just saw some disturbance on the surface right there. There's 100% still fish down there. Let's see. Here we go. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Well, I uh, got a fish on. Snagged him. Don't see that too often. I don't know how you snag a trout like that. Hey, dude, I'm trying to help you. <sighs> Sorry about that, old boy. Oh. Hey, I want to show you to the camera. All right, well, never mind. There he goes. There we go, fish on, fish on. Oh shoot, oh God, there we go. He's trying to get wrapped up in those logs. Get out of there. Oh, that is a really nice fish. Get out. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Stud, stud of a brook. This is actually like, a, this is a good size to keep. It's still early in the day, so I'm gonna let him go, but that is what we are here for. And look at that, he's got like an orange little birthmark under there. That's kind of interesting. There we go. Nice, easy hook to release. There he goes. All right, guys, got the third person chest mount on so you guys can kind of see a little bit better how I'm fishing this stuff. Okay, there we go. There's gonna be a fish back there. There's gonna be a fish back there. Oh, right there, right there. Got him, got him. No, right there. Literally right there on that tree. I can see him. Oh, got him. Dude, I can see, that's a good one. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. Stay down. That's the biggest one, holy crap. Stay down, dude. I tossed it right under that log and just bounced it once and he came out. So much cooler when you can actually see the fish take your lure. Oh my gosh. Another nice brookie. A little bit longer than that last one. Nice, easy hook to release. I love these little jigs. Doesn't even hurt the fish at all. Oh. <laughs> and there he goes. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's a giant. Holy crap. I can't set the hook because there's a giant log up there. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, no way! Yes, guys, new species, yes. Guys, we have a cutthroat 
beautiful native cutthroat. Look how beautiful that is. There are some giant trophy cutthroat in here because I have seen them with my own eyes. Duh, this is just a little guy. We're gonna let him go. Oh, there he goes, released himself. <gasps> right there, got him, got him. Sight fished him. I was just about to rip it out of the water. I saw him come up and flash on it, so I just let it sink back down. And then that's when they grab it. All right, there we go. Yep, good one. Oh, that is beautiful, that is beautiful. That is the prettiest one. Wow, that is the most colored out one for sure. That is awesome. Look at that fish. Oh my goodness, look at that. little guy oh okay Guys, how about that? We caught like seven or eight fish from right here. All good ones too, and a little cutthroat. Look at my jig now. Absolutely totaled. I mean, it, it did its job, but that's what seven big old hungry brook trout does to a little jig. We're gonna fish the main lake now, as you can see. It's really, really shallow and mossy pretty much throughout the whole thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around and kind of sight fish for them. I'm just gonna walk and a lot of times you can just see them chilling in the shallows, toss a little jig at them, and I think I can catch them. If, there is, if they're anywhere near as aggressive as the fish from this log jam, we'll be able to catch them. Guys, so here's the deal. There are tons of fish right here just feeding, and I keep getting bit, but I think before I catch one of them and stir up the hole, I'm gonna set a GoPro down under there and uh, see if I can get one of them actually biting on camera. Well guys, these fish have officially outsmarted me. Uh, I got some cool underwater footage of them, but they have figured me out. They do not want to bite. I did hook a couple, but they shook me off like you guys just saw. And I am actually growing very weary. Like I need a fish for dinner at this point. So we're just gonna go back to that log jam, catch one of those guys. Hopefully those guys are still biting. Cause if not, we're gonna be in real trouble. First cast, baby. Perfect size to keep to. Perfect. Probably about 13 inches or so. Just for fun, I'm gonna take a couple more casts here before we head out. Woo! Big one! 
That's a whoa, 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 whoa. That is a cutthroat. Guys, that might be a cutthroat. That might be a giant cutthroat. This is the biggest fish all day. It is. It's a giant cut. Oh my gosh, I cannot let him get off. That is a giant. Oh my, look at him. Holy crap. Okay, I cannot let him get off. I cannot let him get off. He's too big. I have to go out and get him. Check this fish out. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is one of, this is the biggest cutthroat I've ever caught from a small lake. I've caught big, a few bigger ones that's a big reservoir, but this is like the biggest cutthroat I've caught out here ever. Like, ugh, look at that thing. That thing's a solid 19 inches probably. There we go guys, biggest fish of the day. Biggest cutthroat in a long, long time. And we're gonna let this guy go. Boom. Look at that beautiful fish. Beautiful cutthroat. I'm not even gonna take another cast. I'm gonna head out of here. Cause uh, I'm hungry, man. But that was awesome, guys. Folks, real quick, I'm gonna pause this video to let you guys know that me and a buddy actually went and fished this lake a few weeks before you're watching this video right now. We went to this same lake. I didn't end up making a video out of it because I literally caught nothing, or I might've caught like one small one, but me and him went out, Sam, most of you guys know him as Backyard Boy TV. He caught some really nice fish. His dad even caught a, a nicer one. It, it was a pretty epic day, except I didn't catch much. So I didn't have a video from that, but he did. I'm gonna leave that link down the, down in the description. I'm actually gonna put in some clips right here just to kind of give you guys a little teaser of what you can go see on his channel. It was a fun day, so check those clips out. That's really good. That's a big cutthroat, man. I did not expect that in here. There's a channel that just goes right back and he was just patrolling back and forth, back and forth. So I used this log, every time he'd go past, I'd cast, use that as a screen, wait for him to come back, and the third time he came back, he nailed it. Dang. Personal best brook trout. Look at that. To date. He's off. Sometimes if you just rip got it really. Him. Oh. That was there. Oh, there he goes. He got off. Still counts. <laughs> oh. Are you kidding? Well, that's a good one. Oh my gosh. Go in there and get it. Yeah, I'm getting into this guy. No, I got it. Yeah. Oh my. Buddy, look at that. There you go. Beautiful. Another look at him. Look, he doesn't have very many red spots. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. We're getting him back. Let's go, baby. Well, guys, haven't really filmed at all today because I haven't caught any fish, but this guy's been catching them like crazy, and I showed him this lake, and I literally haven't caught See this? the thing. We're, we're laying this on the bottom, and we're watching him slurp it up. So, yeah, if you guys want to actually see some fish being Let's caught, see. check out his channel. I'll link it in the description below. First step is add some melted butter, a lot of it. Just cut some slats in the fish. Look at that meat. That's some good looking meat right there. Ugh. Ooh. Butter is definitely melted. Whoa, whoa, that could have been bad. In fact, we're gonna turn our heat down to a very low heat, grab our trout, set him in there. And then for seasoning, we have chipotle roasted garlic. Really spicy. I'm starting to like spicy stuff a little more, you know? And then just for looks, we'll throw a little on top. While that fish is cooking, folks, we're gonna chop up some vegetables since we are making fish tacos. It's gonna be a little bit different recipe today. I usually have just used lettuce, cheese, and uh, salsa, but this time we're changing it up. We have here 
yellow pepper, avocado, some shredded cabbage, and a lemon, and then some sour cream. We're not gonna need too much of this pepper. About half of it. I'm not a chef. I'm gonna dice up this pepper as tiny as I can. Assuming you just take your knife and uh, cut it right down the middle like that. All right, let's flip our fish over here. Ooh. Whoa. Nice and blackened on this side. Try a piece. Absolutely. One thing I'm going to do is take all the skin off. I don't know. I don't like the skin very much. You guys know it. We're breaking out the tortillas. Got some flour tortillas. I always get flour. Uh, corn tortillas, in my opinion, are kind of gross. Grab one of these out. We're going to lay it right over the fish and let it warm up. I'm excited to try this new recipe, folks. I just went to the store, I googled fish taco recipe, and this is what came up. The only thing I uh, changed is instead of onion, I'm using the yellow pepper. I'd rather have peppers anyway. All right, lay the tortilla off to the side. Ho oh, ho, look at that. A little blackened. Some people think this is overcooking fish and they'd probably be right. I actually like it a little crispier. Finish this side off with a little more roasted uh, chipotle garlic stuff. And then we're gonna just pull the meat from the bones, make sure no ribs sneak in there. It's okay if some of those tiny pin bones along the spine uh, get in with the meat. Those are so little, you, you're, you don't even notice them. Like you can just eat those and it's no big deal. Look at all that fish, perfectly cooked. Man, I'm just gonna try a little piece right here. Look at that, that is crispy. Some people don't like it that crispy, but. Mm. Gotta really load it with fish. Oh yeah, that looks good right there. Take a little of the cabbage. I've actually never had on tacos. I'm not really too sure about how I feel. Maybe it's good. We'll take some peppers. Last but not least, we'll put a little avocado, or actually we'll put two avocados right there. And then we have some sour cream to top it off right there. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's not about how it looks, it's about how it tastes. Oh, I forgot the most important part, folks. Slice our lemon. Little lemon juice right on top. All right, now let's try this puppy out. It doesn't look too bad, you gotta admit, that looks pretty good. Mmm, that is good. You guys only see like a few minutes of the day, but I have been fishing hard all day long with mosquitoes everywhere. So finally, this is this is really, really rewarding. Mm. Oh my gosh. These freaking bugs today, man. For some reason, they are just drawn to my eyeballs. I've had like 300 try to go right for my eyeball. Gosh, you're pissing me off. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. Last bite. Totally different than that other recipe. In fact, I might even like this one a little bit more. I like the avocado and the peppers. We still have a pan full of trout. Mm, in fact, I think I'm gonna make another taco, but this fish is just really good all on its own. Ah, it doesn't get better than that. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today as much as I did making it. Other than the bugs, it was, it was, a, it was a great day. I mean, caught all those brook trout and 
that freaking giant cutthroat beautiful beautiful and caught some and got some pretty sweet underwater footage can't wait to review that um, hopefully i got some of those strikes on camera but you never know with underwater footage so anyway hope you guys enjoyed if you did go down there give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already i would really appreciate it but anyway folks thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time